Um, Laurent and I would have been together about three weeks by this time, which is not a very long time. At least it doesn't sound like a very long time. But actually, in this three weeks, we had been through quite a bit together. And um, I think, and again, Laurent, if you feel like your perspective is different, please, you know, um, jump in because I can only share from my point of view. Uh, what was happening at the end of this three-week period, Laurent was actually staying with me for about six weeks, this first visit to my house. Um, but about halfway through that first visit, he went to California <laughs> to see his cousin. He's just written, uh, it was enough, the first three weeks was enough to want some vacation uh, to California. And yeah, I think that that's true. And I think my perspective is that... Um, at the end of this first three weeks, when Laurent was getting ready to go to California and kind of take a break, <clears throat> I think there was a, a bit of a feeling of failure going on. Um, you know, we had had a really tough first three weeks. Um, as you guys know, the story that I've told you is that there was, um, you know, feelings of hate, um, fear, Messages given to us by Holy Spirit that were read but not really practiced. And I think at the end of the first three weeks when Laurent was leaving to go on this little trip, there was just this feeling of failure. Maybe some of you guys know that feeling that, you know, I, I don't know, I guess the expectation was maybe that we would... <laughs> uh, heal more quickly. The expectation was that we, you know, wouldn't have these feelings of hatred and fear, that there'd be some kind of bliss going on. I don't know. I don't know that I really had expectations that I could have written down on paper. But certainly there were some unspoken, undefined um, expectations that weren't being met. And there was just this feeling of failure. And in fact, the night before Laurent left for California, we talked about it. And I think we really both felt about the same way. So the next morning I got up. This might be one of the first selfless uh, loving things that I did for Laurent after we were together. Because the next morning I got up and my first thought was for him. Um, what I really wanted was to give him something that he could take to California with him that would be truly helpful. I didn't want him leaving with that feeling of failure. And, you know, words can be interpreted a lot of different ways, but I got to tell you, this really came from my heart. This was pure love. This was maybe, um, honestly, seeing my brother as myself, right? Seeing my brother as myself. And so out of this desire to be truly helpful, a message came. Oh, yeah, Laurent is saying that the night before, he was truly on the edge of quitting the spiritual path. So this does show the strong sense of failure that we were experiencing. <clears throat> he says he felt that he was hate. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I think I've told you guys before that Laurent and I had many different habits. One of those habits was when we slept. Um, I tended to go to bed a little earlier, although when I was with Laurent, I stayed up later than I do. My bedtime now is usually 9 or 10. When I was with Laurent, it was usually somewhere between 11 and 2 in the morning, depending on what was going on. But I almost always went to bed before him and, um, and got up before him. So the next morning, which is the day that he was leaving for California, I did get up before him. Um, and again, I had this desire to be truly helpful, just to be truly, truly helpful. And that's when this message, um, the power of light came. This message was for Laurent, uh, specifically, not that it wasn't also useful to me, and in fact I've used it, and not that it wasn't also useful to some of you. Christian talks about how amazing it was. But this lesson was from Holy Spirit, through my love, <laughs> for Laurent. 
Um, and in fact, this message came, and he got up, and I was able to share it with him. And then I drove him to the airport. When I got home from the airport, another message came um, called The Flow. And that message was for me. So um, it's like Holy Spirit gave me a gift for Laurent because I wanted to give a gift for Laurent. But then without me asking, Holy Spirit knew that I needed a gift too. And Holy Spirit also gave me a gift.